Hey guys, Mike with Getting Greasy Garage, and uh, back at it here on the Black Betty's floor repairs. So, as you can see, it's in. Um, not done. So, where I drilled the holes with a spot weld, or a plug weld rather, I keep calling them spot welds, but the plug welds replace spot welds. Uh, got her secured down to the cross member way across and got it done across the front edge I just have to come back and grind these down uh, right here so this is all stays up to here and then when this back piece gets put in it'll meet up here so this, these are just a series of little tacks, tack, 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 tack. No real continuous welds because, well, you can't do it that way. Um, like this. Spot, 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 spot. Uh, and, you know, I started out, I did tacks every oh, inch, inch or two. And, you know... You have to adjust the metal so it's even. I use the body hammer, put a screwdriver in there, lift it up and down, and then just tack, tack, tack. And I came back, I flushed them off, and I'm going in between those. So, next step on this is to grind it down flush again, see where I've still got spots, uh, weld those in, and then here, well, you know, I cut a little too high, or I Hit it with a grinder. I'll weld that up, but this new floor still overlaps the old floor right here. So, what I'll do when I'm ready is I'll run the die grinder. I'm trying to do this one handed in at an angle as much as possible so that it keeps the gap that's cut between the two sheets as skinny as possible. Pretty well, if you can get them to touch, that's what you go for. Which, you know, th these two sheet, this piece and the old floor touching if, is the best scenario. But, so I've got to cut across there and then just that little section there. Whoop. And, uh, and just spot weld it in. Now I do have to uh, plug weld this last cross member. I've got a couple in it, but um, the sheet's popping around a lot. You know, that's what happens when they get warm. So I don't want it to oil can. There's no oil canning now. So I'm kind of working my way to the front. And then I'll plug weld these, grind them off, and that'll be that. And then I can get the tow board in. I'll do the tow board next. I really wanted to start there, but there's no way to line up the tow board with the ones that I started with. Maybe if you had exact replicas, you could, but I didn't get that option. Because, well, this is a 59. They don't make much for 59s. So, but all in all, it's coming along. The biggest thing with doing something like this is patience because you can't just lay a long bead that, that sheet metal will just warp every which direction and the results will show it um, you know this is a floor so it doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to get seam sealed and coated with bed liner for insulation and sound ending purposes. So yeah, it's coming along. I'm pretty happy with it so far. Um, the biggest key, I think, has been to cut away rusty metal until you get into solid, unpitted, and rusted metal, if you have that option. Um, you know, I got fortunate getting back up into this edge here and on the tunnel it's real solid there's no rust 
So, yeah. Anyway, and then once the tow board's in, then we'll start back here, get it cut out, and get that floor pan laid in. But the uh, track lighting, <coughs> excuse me, is working out really well. Go to your local uh, Habitat for Humanity for shop lighting, guys. I'm telling you, it's cheap. So, anyway, this is uh, where we're at and making progress. Once once these pans are in, then I'll go around and say, uh, grind everything down. Now, I am using, this is a 5-inch sander grinder. And I put the flap wheels in it. Uh, this one, let's see, this is 60 grit, but uh, you can, you know, 40 grit works even faster. That works real well for knocking spot welds down and uh, or tacks or whatever. I call them spot welds. So. And then, of course, you know, just the 90 degree die, die grinder with a 16th of an inch cutoff disc. And uh, work slow, check, check, and recheck everything. I started all my welds on this edge to align it. I, I aligned it off of that. And then just basically worked down. I, I attached it here next then I went across this body brace and then I came across this so again working my way toward the front so just to keep it from oil canning I think if you went around all the outside edges first it would end up oil canning and if you don't know what oil canning is that's where the metal flexes and makes a doink 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 sound so Go out in your garage and uh, squeeze a, a metal can and see what it sounds like. That, that's oil canning. So, All right, guys. Well, I want to get back to it here, get some grinding and stuff done, and uh, I'll bring you back when I'm through with this part. And I think in the next video, I am going to show a little bit more of getting it cut out. I had somebody ask about that so that's what we'll do in the next video so all right guys uh if you would please would be greatly appreciated and it's totally free like share subscribe uh questions comments put them down below i'll answer them and uh you know subscribe really helps out the channel and we can grow this thing so all right guys see you in the next one stay greasy my friends